I'm going to go here, uh, move on to how we can do the eye animation. I'm going to replicate the same process here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer for now. With this one, we're just going to drag this around his eyes and his eyebrows. And it's a relatively planar surface, so sh this should work well. So we have that tracked, and if we scrub through this, it looks great. It looks like it tracked on well. We want to adjust our surface area here so that it's reaching all of our eyebrows. But remember, remembering that it's still 16 by 9. Something like that looks good. We're going to export this tracking data. Call it Ted Eyes. Come back here and into After Effects. Go back to our TED plate, and we're going to duplicate this bottom layer again and call this one TED Eyes. Now we go to our first frame here, Window, Mocha Import Plus. Let's load that file, TED Eyes. And then select Stabilize Precomp and Apply. Now if we slow that layer, we can see that we have this layer and it's tracked on nicely. That looks great. Double click and we can go here and make some manipulations. First I'm going to click on the mesh warp, drag it on here, and I can use this to adjust his eyebrows. I'm going to use less rows. So here's a pretty simple example and let's have him look towards the camera and then he gets extra sad when his mouth turns into the O. So right there we want his eyebrows to change as well. So I'm going to hit distortion keyframe for there and then here I'm going to take his eyebrows and this takes a lot of studying in terms of how people's facial reactions change during certain emotions. But I'm going I know that his eyebrows are going to be moving up they're probably going to get a little bit closer together and have this part of his eyebrow move down like that. And just making minor adjustments so that he looks more sad, more concerned. And we want to remember to use our handles here so that we, when we make our adjustments, we can make them in a way that doesn't distort our image so much that it, that it looks unrealistic. So let's take a look at this. That looks natural. We can even, we can even unselect and select this layer to see the difference we've made. And we can see he definitely looks more sad when his eyebrows go up. So we've done a good job. And if we click here, we can see it animate, at, and that looks good. Animate in eyelids. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and take off the mesh warp. And then I'm going to hit the circle key here and just draw a nice circle the same size as the eye and move it right there and now I'm going to take this layer and move it over to the left so that it covers the eye. So I have that there and then I'm going to go ahead and take another circle layer and drag it right in the middle and then I take this layer and hit subtract. So now I have eyelids and in order to make this blend in I'm going to add in a feather and even feather this layer. So now we have eyebrows and I can use this mask expansion to make his eyebrows close and open. And I probably don't want the mask to be quite as feathered. I'll bring it down to 33. That looks a little bit better. And So now I can make him blink using this expansion. At this point, I want his eyes to close right when he's getting sad. So I'm going to hit the keyframe for this. And then a couple frames later, I'm going to bring the expansion down 
so that his eyes are almost completely closed. And then I can duplicate this layer. And then I'm going to select this outer circle and bring it a little bit to the left of where the other eye would have been. And then take this other layer here and bring it over here. And now I can drag this whole thing on top of this eye. And now both eyes animate. And we can see here what it looks like. It actually looks kind of good, like he's really sad you know his eyes are getting closed and so that's how we animate the eyebrows and there's many different ways to animate it that will give you different results so let's say we wanted only the top of his eyes to come down this gives him a more of a a, a drowsy kind of a look more of a depressed so now as he closes he's more depressed we could even change it so the bottom of his eyes are, and that gives him more of an angry look. So if I were to take this, bring the top up, now he looks kind of crazy. I, I don't even know what kind of look that is, but you can see there's very different results depending on how we choose to animate his eyelids. So we have that. I'm just going to leave it with that result for now. And then now I'm going to show you how we can animate his pupils. What I'm going to do is hit Command Y to create a new solid, and I usually like to take the solid, make the solid the color of his nose right here, but really it can be anything that's close to white. So I select that layer, and I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter, right around there is usually good, maybe even brighter, just so that we can really see the difference for this example. And then I'm going to deselect it, and then make a circle hitting the Q button, the same size as his eyes. Then I'm going to make another circle that's a little bit smaller and I want him to be looking to the left and then to the right so I'm going to start it right here and then select subtract and now I can turn this layer on and select the first mask and just feather it out till it looks like it blends in right around there is good then take the other mask and blend it in as well and I can make this bigger or smaller probably a little bit bigger right around there and now we have his eyes that are looking to the right and so let's look at this layer here I want him looking to the right and then to the left so by this point he's going to be looking to the other side take this layer right here this mask and add in a keyframe drag it back there and then by the time it gets here he's looking this way and so he starts off looking there, and then he moves his eyes over to this direction. And then by the time he gets here, I want him to be looking straight at the camera. So that looks good. And now I can simply duplicate this layer and drag it on top of this guy right over here. And make sure to drag this below both of the eyelid layers. So now we have his eyes looking around and we can go back to our original plate and see what that looks like. He's looking to the left, looking to the right, and then at the camera and then he's really sad. These are examples of how we can animate the eyes to get different looks. And it, the great thing about it is that we're manipulating real footage so it looks fairly realistic.